we're going to preview review this week. I'm Matt Doolittle, bringing you the best. Really? Yep. Bring you the best that Hollywood has to offer. Okay, this week a woman had the first successful face transplant in America. After getting shot in the face by her husband, they had to go in and completely redo everything. She looks great. She says she's in good spirits. Unfortunately, Scotty Pippen is still on the waiting list. Oh. Scotty, that nose is never going to get fixed. All right, this week we are checking out the Brothers Bloom. We're taking a look at Jennifer Aniston in management. And we are also going to look at Tom Hanks in the sequel to The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons. Check it out. Access to the archives is only by written decree by the Holy Father. Fellas, you called me. This is the first sign. What sort of sign? Earth, air, fire, water. And the fifth sign. May God forgive you for what you've done. Father of God has issues. They won't be with what we've done. They'll be with what we're about to do. Our church is at war. Tom Hanks reprises his role as Robert Langdon, the Harvard symbologist who's poking his nose into the world of religion again as the Vatican asks him to solve the rise of the once forgotten Illuminati. So if you can keep yourself distracted by Tom Hanks' terrible haircut in this one again, it looks pretty good. It's got all the symbols that you gotta try and figure out, all the treasure hunting, the same stuff you got in the Da Vinci Code, and I don't think it's gonna be anything different. But I didn't know it was supposed to be a full-fledged horror film for kids. I mean, they got these guys in it. And I watch out for the little one right there. He's kind of freaking me out. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at the con man movie, The Brothers Bloom. 2.5 million. You're a genius, Steven. Trick to not feeling cheated is to learn how to cheat. Sometimes I feel like she knows everything. Okay, she's in position. Why send her in alone? Because no one's gonna even know we were ever here. I think a little real danger might suit me. You built us into this, you're gonna end it. Bloom. Starring Academy Award winner Adrian Brody and the very beautiful Rachel Weiss, the Brothers Bloom follows the last adventure of Conman Brothers who show Harris the time of her life all while making sure her money ends up in their bank account. With an Ocean's Eleven-esque feel to this one and a lot of artistic cinematography, you can tell this might actually be pretty good. I mean, Adrian Brody, Rachel Weiss, very entertaining. And hey, look at all the friggin' awards this thing's won. I mean, it's gotta be worth my 10 bucks if it's got that many things going for it. But I didn't get all the stuff blowing up randomly. That just made no sense. I don't get it. Maybe there's just, hey look, a squirrel. Uh, oh, sorry, little guy. All right, uh, let's take a look at management. Champagne. Why? Would you like me to open it for you? Ooh. Here's to people being happy. You have a great butt. Do you do this a lot, Mike? Very rarely. Does it ever work? Never. You can touch my butt. Very warm. Yes, Jennifer Aniston is taking another crack at the romantic comedy genre. This time, she tangles in Steve Zahn as he plays a hotel manager who falls in love with her after touching her butt. And now he must try and win her love away from Woody Harrelson, who had her touch God knows what. Hmm, I wonder if this really works though. Let me try it. Um, excuse me, Miss Random. Now we've never met before, have we, Miss Random? Not at all. Now I was wondering if you could try something for me. Okay. Will you touch my butt? Uh. Ah! I guess not. All right, well, that's going to do it for Preview Review this week. Make sure you check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash editbayproductions. Or you can get a hold of us directly at editbayproductions at gmail.com. Or you can get a hold of me on the old Twitter, twitter.com slash Matt Doolittle. All right, I'll see you next week. Ah, I think she broke something. Ah.